Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about um, how we handle missing data. And um, this is a reality that we can face in quantitative research for a variety of reasons, such as getting incomplete survey responses, um, losing participants to attrition, um, or even errors with our technology, um, even just recording the data. And so missing data can impact the power of the statistical model that we use to analyze our data. And this can be even more critical in research domains where large sample sizes are not the norm, and researchers feel that they cannot afford to remove entire cases if one data point from that case is missing, for instance. So one way that we have of preserving all the cases in a data set is to impute or to insert values for any missing data points. Uh, but as with many aspects of data analysis, there's more than one way of doing this, and the technique that we choose can impact the results of our study. So similar to way that, the way that we handle outliers in data, um, we need to approach handling missing data in a principled and transparent way. As we encountered missing data, we might want to ask ourselves some questions like, what justification do we have for selecting a particular data handling method? And how does this method impact our overall results compared to other possible methods for handling missing data? And finally, are we being transparent in reporting the decisions that we've made around handling missing data, including their potential impact on our study findings?